so um this ended up being like a very uh, spontaneous international collaboration that we initiated um it was with uh, robin manotti who's now a friend and um, a couple of other people where we we've been thinking about you know what do we want to do how do we want to help people and and kind of how do we want to talk to people and how do we want to give them information that will be helpful and inspiring and comforting and um i think while we were talking i remember saying that you know we need something that people can unify behind something that will stop people from turning against each other and just something common that we all can resonate with because i think we need to find common ground i don't think that the answer to what's happening is more division and you know cutting off and and more isolation and so i think it just as part of conversation we were like yeah that can help people share love and not fear and i think that's when it clicked i think robin then said love not fear yeah that that's that's great like that's a good name for the campaign and let's go with it and and so we just began from there because it was such a universal sentiment that we we as we were having this very spontaneous conversation we stuck to it and and the idea behind love not fear was to talk about the psychological impact of what's happening you know again it doesn't matter whether you believe this is right or that is right or this is wrong or that you know it just doesn't matter at the end of the day we have to unify behind the fact that we share love we are one love is universal and right now we need to show kindness and compassion and gratitude and we cannot give in to fear division isolation we need to unite um and so the idea was to talk about what is happening psychologically because i don't think this is only about data and facts and you know he said this and they did this and this one's behind this and we need to go we need to go i think deeper than that and i think connecting and understanding what's happening internally what's happening in people's heads and hearts is really important so whether we're talking about the impact of all the media propaganda on people's health choices what's happening to um you know what's happening in terms of mental health depression suicide whether we're talking about mass formation and crowd psychology and and how to break out of it i think that's really important and also just really interesting because with that lens you start to have a lot more compassion and forgiveness i think you see people less as your enemy and you see them as people who are struggling and suffering because of because of various things um so we've we've initiated this campaign and uh we had uh, we had professor mark antonio spada who's led the research on covid anxiety syndrome which was something he began researching last year talking about the impact of all of these different restrictions on people's um how they relate to this illness whether they whatever they believe about it and uh that was just one part of it but along with that we started using art and music and creativity to spread the message of hope and love and unity and to dispel fear so we also initiated a bunch of collaborations with i think about 12 to 15 different types of individuals and artists and creators and people just created beautiful beautiful things like be it songs or be it artwork be it poetry or just video messages we had some really um amazing work come out under the theme of love not fear and in addition to that we run a telegram channel where um robin and eric clapton and a couple of other people share their music selections um again under the theme of love not fear to inspire people to feel happy and to feel hopeful and to get people to find that inner strength and to feel connected to everyone around the world who's experiencing something similar because i think a lot of us are being gaslit into thinking that we're the only ones feeling this way and i think just knowing that you're not alone uh makes makes it easier so i think that's where it is at right now um it's a very uh it's a, it's meant to be a positive and uplifting initiative that can help people and we're trying to bridge divisions and bring people together absolutely i think mental health is a big issue because recently ncrb released uh, the data of 2020 and uh, the data showed that more indians died from suicide than covid-19 in the year 2020 which is very tragic <laughs> You know the thing is that I've been saying that I've been saying it for a long time and I'm sure you have experience with this when you say facts like that 
you don't really get a response or reaction. And I think that has to do with the fact of how we are programmed to only react when information is presented to us in a certain way in the media, be it on social media, a newspaper, on the news. If the news says, be worried about these types of deaths and this number of deaths, everyone is worried. If you or I, I say it about something else, flatline, right? And I think I really do, um, I do find Matthias Desmitz's work on mass formation helpful because I've been trying to understand why does it not go anywhere? And I do feel like we are in this state of kind of hypnosis because, because of all the media. I truly think the media is one of the key, uh, key pillars to all of this where people have been, I think we're so scared. Everyone is just, just terrified of what, what it might be if it's not the version of things that's being told to us that people have completely shut down. The, they've they've kind of absolved responsibility for themselves and they're just hoping now. I think people are hoping that things will just be okay. Everyone just wants normalcy. Everyone wants to be happy and free. And um, unfortunately, we are seeing this spiral into a massive mental health crisis and there's no avoiding it because I think it was building up over a long time. We've been unhappy for many decades. You know, it's been building up. It's not new. It's not only now. Yes, it's been exponentially uh, aggravated now, but this is not the beginning. It is, uh, it might be the culmination, it might be an inflection point, but again, I think it's about time that these things came up to the surface. They needed to, we've been sweeping everything under the rug, you know, as a, as a species. So I think it's actually mind boggling to think of the scale and scope of what's happening but that's why I think we just have to remain centered. And if we can help people around us, I think do it with love or just do it with letting people be. Um, share what you want to share, but but have compassion because everyone is struggling. I think we all are pretty much experiencing PTSD of some sort, of some sort right now. 